This is Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, today we're here to show you what bearings you need inside of your UST AO Smith 1202 motor. Now, if you're watching this video, you know that's a two horsepower replacement AO Smith motor that's made in China. Okay, it's not the gold motor, the premium motor, which isn't made in the United States either, but it's definitely the one that's made in China and cheaper. Okay, so here's your UST 1202. All right. Two horsepower. The first thing you can do is remove your through bolts. Now, if you don't know how to remove these through bolts, watch our other videos here on YouTube or wetheadpumprepair.com. We'll show you how to remove the through bolts and how to loosen them and how to take apart the whole back of the motor. But we don't want to make this video too long. All right, so after you do that, you can slide out your armature. Now, on the rear of the UST 1202 is a 6203-2RS.LL that is available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Okay, 6203 to URS. Okay, now also when you get to wetheadpumprepair.com, we have a new feature. Give it a little drop down pop. You'll see right on top, we'll say you're searching for parts for, and you hit the little drop down and you just select your pump. Okay, and once you do that, you can say, like, I'm searching for parts for UST 1202, and you just hit that drop down. It will open up a page and show you the bearings that you need for this in case you do forget. Or if you have a whisper flow when you're watching or something like that, and you said, I'm searching for parts too, you set the little drop down, Pentar whisper flow, bam, it opens up and shows you exactly what parts you need. But if you want to physically see it, we're showing it to you right now. The second thing you want to do is remove this uh, screw on your front end bell, okay? You want to loosen that up, that way you can get your motor bearings out. Okay, so once you loosen this front screw, we're going to take the front end bell off. Okay, just like this, we're going to tap it down. All right, if not, let me, hold on, let me loosen that up here. All right, so I totally got this stuck, but I'm going to show you in a second here. Hold on. All right, so you're going to loosen this thing up, the little retainer clip. Now, right on, we're going to knock this end bell off. see there's a 6204 in the front okay so once again 6204 bearing in the front 6203 bearing in the back go to wetheadpumprepair.com you can search for the little drop down UST 1202 but remember 6204 in the front 6203 in the back wetheadpumprepair.com UST 1202 this is Joe Tamargo peace